Um, hi. So I know I am not looking great right now, but that's because I'm going to be putting my makeup on for the first little bit of this video. Um, yeah, if you're reading the title of this, you already know what this video is going to be about. Um, today I'm going to go see... I'm gonna go see after. Before anyone complains too much about me seeing after, uh, I am very aware, very, I am very aware of the issues of this movie. In fact, I read the original book, I mean fan fiction, um, a few months ago. Uh, I read it for a video and then I never made the video because... Well, <laughs> never made the video, so today I'm just going to talk about the book and I'm going to go see the movie with my friend Vanessa. We have been long awaiting this movie, if I'm honest. Uh, probably too long to a point where it's no longer funny and it's no longer I ironic. We're actually really excited to see this movie. I don't have high expectations. Um, if any of you have read the book... Um, I use the word book very lightly. If any of you have read this piece of work that is after and the series, um, you already know. It's not so hot. It's, it's, it's a little, it's a little problematic. A little problematic. But they made it into a movie anyways. Um, and consumerism. I want to consume this movie. So as I said, I did read the fic. Um, a few months ago. It was painstakingly long, um, not well written. I, I haven't read the official book, so I assume that they probably took an editor to it and hacked away at it, um, I would hope, because the original work is just not well written at all. Um, let's just say I don't think Imaginator 1D had a beta, and that's okay because Fanfic is fanfic, but it's also okay to say that fanfic is not always good and after is not good. Um, I do have some notes written about it in my notes app. Most of them are unintelligible because I literally just wrote little things down that I was thinking while I was reading. Um, well, let me tell you, reading it was really hard. I've already said this, but it was really hard, but I did it. <laughs> the first thing I have on here is that this fic was in first person. At the time, it was pretty standard. I think a lot of fic was in first person in the very beginning of fic. Um, just because you kind of want to put yourself in the person's shoes. Especially like something like this where it's like, you want to be Tessa or you relate to Tessa. Why am I putting powder on? What am I doing? Ugh. This fic was written with the intention of the reader feeling like they can relate to Tessa. Um, I feel like in a lot of fanfics like this, the main character is either one of two types. It's either someone who's emo, which is more like common if you're reading something that's like, I don't know, like a Harry Potter fic. Take for instance, My Immortal. Yeah, that's written with the intention for all those emo kids out there to relate to the main character or at least be able to put themselves in their shoes in their imagination. Um, the type of character that Tessa is, is the, how do I say this, like maybe like a horse girl, um, which was much more common with One Direction because of their, you know, their, their stereotypical fan base. I'm not saying everyone was like this. I don't think I was like this <laughs> ever. There are people who are fans of One Direction who might have related to Tessa. I'm not saying that these people are necessarily bad people, but if they interacted with others the way that Tessa did, I would hope that they got some help along the way and somebody told them, hey, you can't treat people like that. Um, which leads me one into one of like the major flaws of this. Uh, Book. Is the characters are just unlikable. The only characters I really liked were like Tessa's roommate. I can't even remember what her name is. She's barely in the fic. Steph. I have written here, Steph seems much more interesting. I don't know, she just seemed a lot more interesting, a lot more likable. Tessa was horrible, just horrendous. Absolutely did not 
like her. <laughs> and it's hard when you're reading something and you can't, you feel like you can't root for the main character. Because that's what you, when you read, you want to feel like you can connect to the main character, you want to empathize with them. Definitely could not do that with Tessa. She was pretty. Furthermore, the other characters, i.e. Harry and Tessa's ex-boyfriend Noah, um, they were both also just not good characters. <laughs> not likable. It's a real shame that they made Harry's character unlikable and just like actually a bad person. As far as I know and as far as most people know, Harry's a pretty good person. Don't think he would like to be related to somebody such as Harden, as they call him now. Um, Niles barely in the thick. Zane was kind of shitty. Um, and Liam was good, but I feel like every One Direction fic, Liam was like the one nice character. Niall too. Niall's a good character, he's just never in it. I wish the fic was about Niall and Steph, honestly. I have this written on here, I have no idea what it means. It just says Twilight paves the way. Honestly, yeah. Like, <laughs> I can't even disagree with that. I have no idea what that means, but yeah, Twilight did pave the way. A lot of these comments are just, this is so bad, it's unreal. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Um, so with that being said, I'm gonna go finish my makeup, finish getting ready. Um, I'm gonna dress up a little bit for this movie, <laughs> which is embarrassing, but um, why not? So yeah, I'm gonna head out. And when I come back, I will look like one of Steph's slutty friends. Um, that's exactly what I'm going for. And yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but I just had a really bad nosebleed, and I know what you're thinking. This is probably a sign that I shouldn't go see after, but um, it stopped, so I'm gonna go see after anyways. Um, so I'm gonna go pick up Vanessa, <laughs> and then we're gonna head to the movies, so yeah. <laughs> I'm tearing up! <laughs> we're clowns! Oh, we made it to the theater. Um, the parking lot is really, really empty. Like, embarrassingly empty. And I don't think there's gonna be anyone else in the theater. So now we're the clowns oh. coming to see fucking after on a Thursday afternoon. Um, anyways, we're cosplaying. <laughs> I'm cosplaying as um, Tessa's roommate, Steph, who is a, notoriously known as a fishnet-wearing whore. So... <laughs> Hello. Um, so we just finished watching After a little bit ago. Vanessa's eating orange chicken now. Um, Vanessa, what did you think of the movie? I wanted there to be the sequel. We're not getting a sequel of After. Oh, it was so bad. No. <laughs> they changed a lot of the movie, so it's very different from the fic. I haven't read the book. I am assuming that's the same as the fic, but now I'm not sure. Um, the movie was not good, but it wasn't like horrible and like harmful like the fic was. Um, also, there were gay girls in it, so I can't be too mad. And Steph was so cool. Yeah, <laughs> we love, I love Steph. Steph so much. Um, I made a joke on the way there that Zane's <laughs> name would be changed to Zed, and it was. So that was kind of cool. Okay, Vanessa, give after a rating. Out of ten. Um, five. Okay, I give it um, two lesbians out of ten. <laughs> oh, now it seems like I liked the movie. You did like the movie. You want a sequel? Yeah, but not in like in a good way. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's what we thought about after. Thank you all for joining us. Bye. Hi. So it has been exactly a week since I saw After in theaters. Um, it's, I meant to film this a little sooner and I did, uh, but I didn't like the footage. I looked crusty and dusty and musty and so I decided to refilm it. So basically I wanted to sum up my thoughts on After because I still have some thoughts that I haven't said yet and yeah, I want this to be like a proper review and um, give my opinion on the movie. Uh, not that I am anyone to have an opinion on it, but um, I do, so I'm gonna talk about it anyways, even though I'm not really a movie critic or whatever. I've watched a lot of movies in my day though, and I've read a lot of fanfic and I've read a lot of books, so I think I have a little bit of, um, I don't know, a right to an opinion, obviously. So, 
after wasn't good. After wasn't good, and that's probably not a surprise, um, but it wasn't the absolute train wreck that I expected it to be. Um, it was bad, but it wasn't horrible. In comparison to the book, I think it was actually pretty good. They changed a lot of the storyline, and a lot of fans were mad, but personally, as someone who had a lot of problems with the book, um, I liked it. Um, it was, like, needed, and I feel like the reason they changed it is because it needed to be more ad-friendly in order for tickets to sell, in order for it to be all over, like, YouTube ads and stuff. Um, because the message that was being sent beforehand in the book just wasn't one that um, ads would want to probably associate themselves with. The reason I think that this is the sole motivation of why the movie was so different from the books is because the things that they did change... Mm, so one of the big things is they changed the characters a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and they made them more palatable because, as I said before, the characters in this story are absolutely horrendous and just like not good people. They changed Harden. He wasn't nearly as um, obnoxious and cruel as he was in the books. And Tessa wasn't nearly as judgmental and a uh, snob. That being said, where they took out that personality, those bad personalities, they didn't replace them with anything. Which made for a really like boring movie, like the characters just had absolutely no personality. Because they had no personality, there wasn't really any chemistry between them or for any of the relationships for that matter. Like, they just felt very, very, very one-dimensional. <laughs> and I don't expect much from this movie. I understand that it- well, I know what it is. It is what it is, and I can't be too mad at it for that. Um, but I think that it was really lacking. <laughs> They changed the dare from the books into something different completely for the movie, which was another good call because in the books, the dare was really, really bad and, like, gross. And, like, if you're familiar with the books, you know what it was. It was really horrible. It was, like, not cool at all. Um, so another thing that was good on them. Another thing I really liked, personally, <laughs> was that they made Steph's love interest a girl. Um, in the books, of course, Tristan was male. Um, but in the movies, it was Pia Mia, and they were together, and it was really nice. I liked it a lot. Um, there was, like, a one really weird scene where there's just, like, them kind of, like, making out in the room, and then Tessa's just laying there. Had nothing to do with the rest of the movie. In fact, there were a lot of filler scenes like that. And furthermore, there were a lot of montages. There were at least four montages, and it was very, very, very low on dialogue. I can respect a movie that's low on dialogue. I feel like it's beautifully done sometimes. Like, you don't need your characters to be talking all the time to convey what's going on. Um, but this movie was something that needed dialogue, and it was just not there. And it was weird because the book is, like, so dialogue heavy, and then they just didn't really put dialogue into the movie. Other than that, I thought the actors were pretty good. Um, I thought the main actor, the guy that played Harden, was so much- he looked so much like Danny Gonzalez, and I just, like, kept saying Danny Gonzalez the whole time I was watching. Um, I love the actress that played Steph. She was probably my favorite. It was pretty good acting-wise. It wasn't great, but, I mean, it was- they did what they could with what they had, basically. So, yeah, my main complaint is the characters were boring, had no personality, and there was too many montages, and it was just not that great of a movie in general. Um, I got bored halfway, like, not even halfway, like, towards the end, I got really bored and actually had to leave the theater for a few minutes, because I was so bored, I was, like, gonna go crazy. Um, so I left the theater, <laughs> and then I went back in, um, but, yeah, it was really boring at some parts. That's all I really have to say about After, um, wasn't good, uh, but also it wasn't as bad as it could have been, so, good job. And apparently... Anna Todd is waiting for the green light for a sequel, and I just 